and we return. Yeah, let's go fuck some face. Every time I boot up this game, I hear the menu and it's, the audio is so delayed. Like, sometimes my Elgato do that, it, it delays the audio, and I wonder every single time whether it's like... The game or the console, and it's the game. Every time. Whatever, it don't matter. None of this matters right man. What up? How you doing, Christian? How you doing, Zenka? How y'all doing today? We here to finish Chrono Cross. Crawl. You out here waxing? Dude, where the hell am I going? I like how volatile the blips in Mario's Super Picross are. You know, uh, I was debating on getting Puyo Puyo Tetris during the sale, and I just, I didn't commit. Uh, what I do want. Oh yeah, we never fought the Black Dragon, so I never got a black plate. Never mind. Oh, we could probably... Hold on, hold on. Allocate. Hold on. Why do I do that every time? That is incorrect. Free fall. Trap free fall. And then this jabroni. I think I did it backwards, but whatever. Black hole. Sure. That'll work for me. Wait, is this green? But he's black, but he's in front of a green crystal. Okay, alright, we're, we're alright, we're alright. You did green already, did we? Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, because we got tornado. That's right, that's right, thank you. Alright, we want the level 5 first, which means Kid needs to get her trap off. Oh my god. <laughs> He's dead. No. Uh, why are you so mean, Christian? Why, why you have to be mean? Alright, uh, kid has my other revive. We gotta play that slow. Bap! <laughs> Love you, buddy. No, come on. Ninety-four percent always punished. But yeah, hopefully, uh, your Thursday is going well. You too. I'm excited for the finale of Chrono Cross. Surge is dead again, and <gasps> um, dead permanently. Because I only have two revives. I've only ever been given two revives. That's it. That's all I've ever been given. Oh god. Kid's dead. <laughs> Alright, we're not... <laughs> we're not fucking around. <laughs> Where is your revive juice? I only have two revive juice. The game has only ever given me two revive juice. I've only ever gotten two revive juice. It's just the two. And now there's a chance that Fargo's just dead. There's no item? There's no item. Oh, he's alive. 
What the? Oh, I forgot to change it off black. Fargo's definitely dead. First time seeing this thing. Oh, he's alive. Let's, uh... Let's go fix this HP problem we got. Um... Whoop. Mine now, bitch. No, not defend! Alright. Alright, game just threw with the double tap. I went to go trap Black Hole because I knew he was gonna do it. That's sick. I went to go trap Black Hole because I knew he was gonna do it and the stupid thing double tapped. What a way to start. <laughs> That's a oof. At least you just saved. That's true. That double tap is annoying as fuck. I've accidentally run away so many times after thieving an item, right? Shit is awful. The worst part is, is it's like gaslighting me. It makes me think it's a controller problem or something when it's very clearly a game problem. Like, no, fuck you. Bruh, it doesn't matter how I sort this. The blacks are always, it's always gonna be at the bottom. All right. So you'll have the six, you'll have the five. And the boosted frame rate is gaslighting you. I don't even know if it's a frame rate thing. It probably is, but. Now you saw that nice chunky ass frame rate. Oh, hold on. But you saw that chunky ass frame rate on the black hole, so enjoy that. Alright, we avoid these. They probably have some cool stuff if I were to fight those guys. Apparently, this remaster is an emulation with texture filter. Doesn't surprise me. Alright, just making sure... Yeah, we're alright. I mean, it's certainly not the best fucking board I've ever seen. All right, Fargo first. It's nowhere close to as bad as Tales of Symphonia regularly gets. I think they just port the wrong one of Tales of Symphonia, don't they? What? It, what? 400? What? No! Come on! Stop picking on Surge! God damn it, dude! Gee, Billy! I feel like I need to hit strong-minded on Surge or something and pray for the best. Oh, so, speaking of Tales, we brought up the DLC, we being me, brought up the DLC. And, uh, I was curious about whether it's actually good or not, and, uh, answer, it's supposedly pretty fucking bad for Tales of Arise. So that's fun. I 
I, I will likely skip it in that case. Game was good, but it doesn't warrant pretty mediocre DLC playthrough, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so we've got enough for her. Fargo, you get, did your double, let's get your pillage in there. It's hard out here? It is hard out here. I didn't buy anything for myself in the steam sale. Please live. You can live. It's okay to live this surge. This is the worst. <laughs> And then he's gonna do Hellbound again. So that's just death, yeah. That's, uh, the black element has two different... It's gravity and death. Let's, uh, get rid of that. Now I'm fighting that black dragon really fucked you. This is the one time I would want to play it. That would have been real nice to have, and the game said no. Dude, I am... I I'm at the edge right here. I'm playing with fire. Trap free fall, and then he's gonna do free fall again, and then I'll get my turn. Trap black hole. Fargo hit us with the cure all. Ooh, nice. <laughs> okay, I'm allowed to finish this now. Yo, we really. Wow. <laughs> can I call it or can I call it? I did good. Fucking Surge missed the level up, great. You know, I blame that only went so well because Surge did two hits for 800 total damage. You didn't fight the Black Dragon because Homeworld Marbule was garbage, it's true. And we had a chance to fix it too, but you know what, whatever. I'm not a soothsayer, I can't say soothes. All right, back we go. I feel like that was, what, the third game over we've had with this? That sounds right. We finalize in finales. What up, Colin? How you doing? You know, we still never fought blue. Uh, I'm supposing that this one is probably gonna be white.
Also, have I ever talked to you guys about uh, pre-rendered backgrounds in RPGs? <laughs> Okay, so this so where's blue? Scrolling. All right, we need one holy light. Uh, Ultra Nova goes to her. I do kind of mean ranted, but you know. Let's see, we got another holy healing. And we could slap two on here. Unicorn. Why not, right? Wait, was that trap unicorn? You know, I bet I could bait it. I bet I could bait it. I could probably bait it. The last one did Mothership before it did Black Hole and we lived it. Maybe it's not worth baiting. Argo's got my five. Trap Holy Light. Starting with melee? What the hell? They did 300 damage. What was that? All right, I don't want to mess with that too much. That was a good heal anyway. Uh, is Kid dead? Oh, it's not even close. We, uh, we have diminished, right? Uh, I don't- if I do, I don't know who's got it, is the problem. But what the hell? I did a lot of work for that damage. I have a negate magic. Diminish might be one of the higher twos. I don't think I can't. I wish I could check. I can't check. All right, we will revive kid and pray he doesn't pick on her. Hey, I have to not attack him anymore. That's great. Let's make sure it's not all white so he doesn't do unicorn. Unsub, unfollow, bleach eyes, lobotomize memory, server, transfer. The old classic. What up, Mesh? How you doing? All right, we have to defend. All right, here's level four. Maybe Magnify is uh, not active right now? Oh no, that feels like it's active. Alright, 
She needs two. Right. Oh, I didn't steal from him, son of a bitch. He's weak, I think. No, he can't be weak. He healed himself. I believe. Just ate some food, so I go girthier and have delicious Dr. Pepper Zero by my side. Dr. Pepper Zero. You guys are walking billboards. My bones have been craving orange juice for a while. We gotta wrap this up so I can go grocery shopping. Did he just photon ray me three times so that he could use the son of a bitch? Do I even... Gonna weaken so the field isn't white anymore. Alright, now... Null state? Okay, that's great. Can you... You're gonna do a level one spell, man? I guess it's level two. Photon Ray is one. So level two into three. That actually hit very hard. What the fuck? I can't... Can't do that with her. Can you do the thing? So I can trap it? That would be great. Fuck. There it is. Alright, now kid. Element. Trap. Ultranova. And now I can punish him. Dude, Sarge is just so strong. He doesn't know. He lacks critical information. <gasps> no! <laughs> Double tapped! I even used the stick for that! Come on! Well, I don't have a. S I lose out on both of them. Oh, that's such a bummer, bro. Oh, that sucks so much. All right, whatever. No rewinds. I went to go defend and it doubled. I just can't defend. I'm not allowed to defend. It double tapped. I, I literally lose that element. Went to go defend. I pressed down. It double tapped down to run away. Son of a bitch. <laughs> what a bummer. Just need to be slow on the inputs? I- it's menuing! You can't be slow on menuing! It's fucking menuing! Alright, someone's dead. Surge dead? I don't think so. I think he's gonna take 500 here. Can I call it or can I call it? All 
All right, you. I was about to say, is Surge the only one with a cover all? I have a plan now. Just gotta make sure Surge doesn't die to some stupid shit. This shouldn't hit that hard. All right, it hit hard enough. He does have a recover all. I can keep baiting Unicorn. It's all right. Did you just place the Mafuba? The fuck's a Mafuba? they use in Dragon Ball to trap demons. They trap demons in Dragon Ball? Come on now. Photon Ray. Are you gonna do Unicorn? Or do I have to sit here and be punished forever? There's some damage. I believe in base pilfer. It's technique they use to put demons into the container. Mafuba's the technique, or what's the container called? Guys, I don't think he's gonna do unicorn. Oh, he can't anymore. I pilled him. Whatever. I'm super bummed. It about did it again. Give me that white brooch. I no longer care. Oh, I got an Ultra Nova. We're fine. We're okay. This was scuffed the moment the black dragon didn't wake up. This stream has been a little scuffed. Having said that, we're all right. We have an Ultra Nova. I'm st God damn it, man. Whatever. Whatever, I'm not emotionally hurt. It's fine. all fine. Having said that, uh... Did I ever get the level 6 spell here? Volcano, yeah, we're good. Alright, I'll move that down one. That'll work. All right, we never did find the uh, the blue guy though. <laughs> you really sound like it's fantastic, Sean. It's fine. It's all fine. I'm not emotionally distraught about it at all. I definitely didn't try really hard to to make traps work, and didn't get supremely punished. And it's not my fault. It definitely didn't happen. It's fine. It'll be extra scuffed when the Chrono Cross crosses all the Chronos straight to Chronopolis.
Let's just do a move called Slash All, in which it fired arrows from a bow on a single target. We're free! I don't think it makes sense for the last guy to be behind this door, considering we just fought black and white. The last guy being blue. I don't think it really makes sense, but considering we did miss him, and I, he's probably not optional, right? Right? the old college try. Speaking of Final Fantasy 7, I have not been tempted to do a job fiesta playthrough of it before, and I needed to be talked out of it. Talk me out of it. What the hell is job fiesta? All right, for whatever reason, Blue's the last one. Disrespecting the origins of life. Oh, I guess because all things return to water or something. Water is a high tier theme of this game. You can assign random jobs to the characters that you can use. The jobs limit what material can be used. Didn't I do that on my playthrough, kind of? I turn, uh... We, we turned uh, Cloud into a caster, I feel, like, for the majority of the game. Vigora. What the fuck? All right. I was about to say, this shouldn't hit Fargo very- What? <laughs> Ch chill out. Goddamn. All right, now Fargo, you get in there, do your- you Hit your two. For the first time in your goddamn life, then you trap the luge, please. And we're free. That's too much damage. Ow! Oh, he's frozen? That was surprising. Decrease foe's magical resistance. Not exactly what I want. I don't really want to cure plus either. That sounds bad. I'm not here to trap for Frog Prince. How many other games you got, Meshi? How many other games could you be playing right now? Because I'm sure there's no fucking shortage. is so girthy that everything is pushed back. Never did finish uh, Armored Core 6. That's what I'm saying. You got so many other things to do. Why are you like, talk me out of Final Fantasy 7? Talk me out of Tales of Symphonia. Go do those other things.
Aqua Ball. We're still okay. Do your blue field, I don't care. One tablet. She needs one hit. We're good. Bluefield should make Squall reappear or appear. Uh oh. It's actually really bad. I have Purify somewhere. She needs a- I don't really care what happens from here. Defend, 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 defend. Did he just skip Deluge? specific setups here all of them what the hell yeah water said fuck you a fucking game saying fuck you right now what am I All right, there's Deluge. And now we trap Ice Beam. I gotta be careful, I can't really do anything to him. He's already weak. Uh-oh, is he cycling? Alright. I think we have to give up on Iceberg. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> yeah, he, he's looping. Great. So... In every other scenario, all five other elements, these stupid fuckers did their level five spell into their level six spell. But this one wants to be a real piece of shit. 72% by the way. All right, Fargo, all up to you, dog. He lives this. Yeah, see, he lives it. These things wouldn't absorb water, right? Like, that'd be crazy. Like, I, I could do Blue Whale right now, right? <laughs> that definitely wouldn't heal him, right? Come on! Well, problem. I don't have nostrums on this nerd. So in an attempt to not have a blue field... 
No, there, there's no way. He definitely heals on blue damage. There's no way he don't. All right, give me an iceberg for free. You know you want to. I got a blue field. <sighs> I'm sad. At least we got Deluge, my favorite spell in the game, so. Oop. We'll put that there, and then, uh... Oh, we already have an anti-red. I think we're good. I'm gonna put that there because I guess why not? Bill Blank's whole party. Hmm. All right. Feel like it'd be better to have a different party member with the color field spells. Oh, true. Though that is the only one I've gotten. But yeah, you bring up a good point. Having, like, Kid turn field blue so that Fargo can dunk afterwards, that would be the play. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here looking at it like, don't overthink it. Just put it somewhere. It don't matter. None of this fucking matters. Dungeon? More like dumb gym. Got him. I mean, not a lot of thought going on in this game, at least in its level design. Guys, I'm futzing with the slinky. Oh, I forgot. I got gamer gum for Christmas. My sister has a weird sense of humor. <laughs> Keep the slinky away from the wires. No, I got some gamer gum. It tastes like Big Red. But on it, it says, Lasts longer than your cowardly enemies. Which I don't think is very true, because this gum does not last long at all. It's like a solid five minute chewing gum. It's pretty bad. Tastes good, though. It do taste like Big Red. I like Big Red. Cinnamon gum is pretty alright. That's the idea? Oh, true, true. Yeah, it's got a picture of a guy with a headset, and he's all like, I'm chewing gamer gum. Oh, kill me. I'm sorry. I'm, we gotta... Welcome. Welcome, humans. Those who know the torment and joy of creation know also the pleasure and pain of destruction. Therefore, all that pass through here must be prepared to share the burden that I carry. Just gonna make sure there's nothing really here that I... Uh, yeah, probably fine. <laughs> Listen to our burden. This may be our last chance. 
wonder what Jat's up to nowadays. And Christian, I don't know what that is, but what the fuck? Don't- Do not elaborate. The frozen flame. Struth? Hold on, don't touch it! What a struth? <laughs> Is everyone okay? Screw you! Us humans ain't gonna let you have your way any longer. Come on, show your bloody self! Ah, yes, it's one of those Monster Hunter quote-unquote dragons. In order to survive all living things in this world, fight desperately and devour those they defeat. Must one kill other living things in order to survive? Asks the big lizard. Must one destroy another world in order to allow one's own world to continue? The wounded in turn wound and torment those weaker than themselves. Is, is he giving me the Edelgard speech? Must you continue to kill and reconquer? Did you save? I mean, not after a blue guy. There are only the killers and the killed, the sinners who are judged and the victims that do the judging. What meaning is there to such a world? Whether there's meaning to our lives or not, we still go on living, you know. You got no right to deny that. I shall cleanse this blue planet of you filthy humans once and for all. This is a reminder that this guy is like the ultimate apex reptite from Chrono Trigger. Yo, what am I listening to? Definitely not the direction I was expecting this song to go. It's the battle for Hoover Dam. What the fuck, man? 158? What are you doing? You didn't even have a spell name. What are you doing? Well, you kind of ruined what I wanted to do. Let's just start with the pilfer, I guess. Wasn't even really worth stealing. Yeah, this is called the Time Devourer. Game auto slotted magnify plus two twice. Why would it do that? Wow. Oh, God, how many times are you going to do this? Seven percent, man. Auto Greenfield? Tidnani. Now you remember that trick we just set up? I believe in the future. Bitch. Oh, 
Well, that was pretty good. Uh... Okay, he just did the Lavos thing where we shifted areas. <laughs> Reminder that Whale Lord and Skitty are in the same egg group. Hmm. What is this grouping of elements? Yellow, red, green. Yeah, he changed his defensive element. Yeah, I recognize that. Oh, what am I doing? Yo, Ultra Nova time. Yeah, that was kind of sick, I'm not going to lie. Okay, yellow, red, green, blue. Black, and then white. Yellow, red, green, blue, black, white. Doesn't sound right, but whatever. Don't think the color order matters right now? No, it definitely does not. But he does them for a reason. So. It's cause he don't know no better. Yellow, red, green, blue, black, white. We got some stuff that needs to be done before we get to the final, final part anyway. Yeah, get that ass whooped! Magma! Yeah, that's the big thing, is getting the Chrono Cross. Like, oh no, he's hitting me with all of these level 1 spells. How are we ever going to recover? You know what, fuck this. Oh man. I wish I could turn red. Volcano! Wait, we're in a volcano? Is this gonna heal him? Did I fuck up? I might have fucked up. Shit. <laughs> Dumbass. As the DM rolls dice and looks at players, but says nothing. That's an otter S if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Alright, now we do a green. 
Yo, you can do an Omega Green? All right, more power to you, dog. Holy shit, Fargo's dead. <laughs> How you just die like that, man? He, he, this guy was being chill the whole time. What happened? Alright, we got a cure all inside. There we go. Alright, then we defend. Defend, not run away. Very deliberately. From one of my favorite D&D stories out there, they're doing a kind of Alice in Wonderland campaign, and the DM just rolls dice and nods while not saying why. <laughs> He's doing background rolls. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and everyone's just... <gasps> What's he doing? <laughs> to the next shithole. I should really turn this game down. <laughs> I'm scared of doing D&D because my social anxiety won't allow me to talk to people for an hour sitting in one place. I used to be like that. I know that feeling pretty well. That. The real trick was him taking us to Brazil. Does that count as blue? No, it does not. This song is so weird. Alright, we hit the recover all. I kinda wanna attempt to make this white, but I'm not sure that I can. I feel like I might be able to. We should save it for when he switches us to a black area. Dot. Just finished a new D&D character? Nice. How you doing, Rhino? Oh, Mega Blue on Kid? Yeah, she's dead. She stood no chance on that one. <laughs> Holy Light plus three! That would full heal her. Wait, Holy- wait, no, Holy Light's level five- <gasps> Annihilate's undead. First off, why the fuck is that not on Surge? She lost herself. Alright, once Surge gets his turn going, we're gonna get the hell out of the blue area. I like how hard he had to think there for a second to get Aqua Ball out. Do you guys see that? There's that pause where he was like, Aqua Ball? Also, hell, please don't hit. Come on now. Don't do this to me. Oh, you. Oh, thank God. I was gonna be so mad. Nice 82%, by the way. Good lord. Alright. Couple hits there, get that spell up. Be good to purify. We have panaceas, actually. Let's fix surge. All right, switch to the next area. I c if this switches over to the black area, 
Remember, yellow, red, green, blue, black. It should be black. As long as he doesn't cast a spell off rip. This doesn't look like black. The whole field changed. It is black. The whole field changed, you piece of shit. I worked hard for that field. I worked hard for that field. <laughs> All right, just do some normal hits or something while I we get all caked up over here. She's alive. She all right. She's alive. She fine. All right, hit that recover all. See, we gotta what that's all the white he's got oh my god i'm the worst i'm the fucking worst why am i so terrible great uh i can only i turn him white but then that counteracts the things i want to do with my life whatever i'm overthinking this overthinking this. <laughs> I can deal 700 damage in a hit. Why do I care? Wait. Kid's probably dead, actually. Oh, she's alive! It's doable, boys! It's doable! Angels! I sure hope this is some good damage. Wow, it's like actual angels. What the fuck? It's like I'm playing Heroes of Might and Magic. By that was like no thank you. It did 2,000 damage and full healed the party. That was really good. And despite how good it was, it was a garbage looking summon now. Alright, uh, next attempt to make it red, I guess? Probably doable. Oh, I have red field on her. Okay, we can do this. Did Fargo and Surge both get hit with fatigue because of Saints? That's super strange. Kid. Really should have set this up on someone else. Tenka had the right deal with that. Uh, from here, I need to get her three hits and a spell. That's not three hits and a spell. I fucked up. Don't interrupt me. Yes! Salamander! 
A new D&D character is a dwarf. I dump strength and full loaded wisdom and int. Interesting. Why wisdom and int? Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Earring of Hope. Now I shall truly awaken again, and I couldn't read that. I didn't press a button, by the way. That thing, the dragon god, it is only a quasi-existence. A temporary form that the real dragon god uses in order to appear in this dimension. The actual dragon god was consumed long ago, swallowed by that being on the other side of the dimensional darkness. The frozen flame is a splinter from the extraterrestrial being Lavos. The one who connects with the frozen flame, in effect, links with Lavos itself. As the mediator between Lavos and living things, that one will gain extraordinary power. By binding with the new seed of destruction, the Devourer of Time. What in blazes are you talking about, old man? Now, go to the place where time became, uh, became divided and weave the threads of time together again, Chrono Trigger. The Devourer of Time is a new life form, born from the fusion of a life form from this planet with Lavos, who nests on the far side of the dimensional void. Of the dimensional void. Dimension void. <laughs> In the far-off future, when the fusion becomes complete, it will awaken. Then the Devourer of Time will begin to consume all space-time continua. Despair and hatred, to return all things to nothingness. That is what it desires. Here, take this with you. Oh, why is he talking like- The Time Egg will enable you to travel beyond space-time. The world is in your hands. Go now if you want it. Another world awaits you. So basically, when the dimensions merged, the dragon god, the king of all reptites, in the final form of the reptites, was being devoured by Lavos, or the two of them fused inadvertently, and they have become the Time Devourer, I guess. I just saw that chest off there. Can I go back for that? Crikey! What the bloody hell is happening? This place is going to crumble to pieces! Controller doing a rumble that I'm not appreciative of her. Gee, Billy. What the fuck? 
that's Terra Tower's final true form. In the end, we're all the same. Everyone dreams of being greater, more powerful. We've come this far. All that remains is defeat the de uh, to defeat the time Devourer of Time. <laughs> Once we wipe the Devourer of Time off the face of this planet, it's all over. Hopefully everything will go back to normal again. You're wrong. Things won't ever go back to the way they were. Destiny? Fate is dead. From now on, us humans have to choose our own way in life. We also have to take responsibility for the choices we make. And something's gotta be done about the way we go around hurting and killing one another. We gotta settle our differences once and for all. Listen, what's really important is what we do now. The issue ain't whether we defeat that bastard or not. I'm afraid that, depending on how we go about it, we could lose out on gaining something really precious. So the issue is the way we fight. So where on earth is the real devourer of time? My guess is the key to finding it lies at the beach. That's where this whole thing started. It's also probably where this whole thing will end. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I had not considered... We have to be in Homeworld for the Divine Dragon Falls. Oh, no, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Let me do this real quick. You. And give me that. What did I- wait, what did he just put on? That's fine, whatever, I don't care. Give me that. Surge. You take that. And then, uh... Yeah, swap that. And then, yeah, swap this too. That'll work, whatever. I just want to make sure Redfield is on someone else, and I don't know why she stole Surge's good damage anyway, so... Look, damage? Hit him with the Weeble Wobble. There's gonna be an exposition dump. Are we like the last boss? It can't be dumping exposition at us. You received the Chrono Cross! And just like that, we're done. <laughs> we have one Chrono Cross. And it don't do nothing. Yeah, y'all got Chrono crossed up thinking I'd never get it. It's an element? No. Oh, look at that. Long lost element of seventh color attribute. I don't want Let's bump all this up. It's gonna make this a pain in the ass. Well, it was yellow, red, Green, blue, black, white. I don't think there's really anything else we want to be doing right now. We missed out on all the cool weaponry. Yellow, red, green, blue, black, white. Yellow, red, green, blue, black, white. Let me- hold on. Let me set up Fargo's spells real quick. He had a lot of similar colors. He needs to diversify his portfolio.
Get rid of those. So we've got yellow, red, we need green. We make sure everyone's got a little bit of everything. This is the way we need to do this. Make sure you have low level elements so he doesn't have a chance to interrupt your streak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so we've got two black, two white, two green, a whole bunch of red, three yellow we can go through, and a whole bunch of blue. He's fine. Alright, her. She needs some low level black. Well, we've got low level white. She's fine on that front. Low level greens, low level blues, she's alright. I think she's okay. She could use some yellows, actually. And for Surge, we got a couple yellows. They're pretty higher yellows, though. If he interrupts your streak, it's best to run and try again. That's yeah, that's a good idea. God, music's so good, man. All right, we'll slap that there. But I'm going to assume we have to end with the Chrono Cross. So we'll do yellow, red, green, blue, black, white, Chrono Cross. The trick is making him start, I think. Egg! No egg? We gotta go home. Probably. So you finally made it, Surge. How come they're kids, though? I don't really understand that. When did this sorry tale all begin? Was it 10 years ago when you almost drowned here? Or was it 14 years ago when you were wounded by that panther demon that attacked you? That resulted in you being carried to Chronopolis, where you came into contact with fate and the frozen flame. Or perhaps it was 2,400 years in the future, when the time crash hurled Chronopolis back into prehistoric times. Or could it even have been 12,000 BC, when an ancient magical kingdom met its end after trying to use Lavos? Each is close to being correct, and yet, at the same time, so far from the right answer. The true beginning was during the destruction of the ancient kingdom of Zeal. As the palace collapsed around her, Princess Scala was sucked into a dimensional vortex along with the Lavos Mammon, Mammon Machine. Scala and Lavos became unified into one even more powerful entity that would evolve into the Devourer of Time. Filled with the hatred and sadness of Lavos, half of Scala's mind became set on destroying all of existence. Yet at the same time, the other half of her mind desired to save the universe and to be rescued herself. As Scala fell through the time gate in this condition, she heard your crying echoing through time. That is when her story and yours began to intertwine. It is also when the past and future began to intersect, and when the world became divided into two. Led by the pitiful crying the young Surge made as the panther demon's poison took hold of him. Yes, Surge. The sound of your crying touched the heart of Princess Scala. Before the destructive mindset could become dominant, she cloned herself and sent her copy into this dimension. Scala left her baby daughter cloned. <laughs> Those were not three words I ever expected to read in that order. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy, sorry. Uh, let me recuperate myself. Alright, left her with her magic, uh, ancient magical pendant. This was to safeguard her daughter clone and life and uh, or in life and death situations. <laughs> the pendant would rewind time a little, sending her daughter clone into a safer point in the immediate past. That's right, kid is Scala's daughter clone. You're wrong, I'm me. I ain't no Scala's daughter or clone. That's right, kid. All right, my my immediate interest in this. What the fuck? And now about Project Kid, the time control project Belthazar planned out. The whole project existed to lead you to this one special point in time. The founding of Chronopolis, the time crash, and the battle between fate and the dragon gods, it was all coordinated so that you would get your hands in the Chrono Cross and come to this place. Of course, Kid was not to know anything about this whole plan until later. Further in the future, she is meant to travel back ten years in time from now to save Surge from drowning. Kid was also meant to call Surge into the other world as he spoke with Lena here on Apasa Beach. You are our last hope, our final chance. Only you, who came into contact with Scala and Kid, Scala's clone daughter- Stop saying clone daughter, please stop saying clone daughter. Please stop saying clone daughter. In the darkness that exists on the other side of time, Scala has been integrated with the dev a devourer of time. Release Scala from the binds of, her mo of that monster and her own hatred. There are so many... That was... <sighs> Number one, what made Lavos interesting in Chrono Trigger was that he didn't have the concept of hate, really. It was just the space tick. Doing space tick things. Um... Number two... Scala daughter cloned herself while merging with Lavos during some ancient time compression and Kid was supposed to save Surge in the past but instead Surge saved Kid in the past? I don't... Uh, a little time fucky wookie A new species is about to be born on this planet an alien life form even more evolved than the old Lavos at the darkness beyond time, the weakened Scala came under the influence of Lavos, and the two became one. It is now up to you, the one whom the Frozen Flame has chosen as its arbiter. You alone can decide how the new Lavos, which has encaged Scala within it, will evolve from here. Your actions will determine whether the future all time... The future all time is devoured. The, f the future... In the future all time... I'm sorry. Your actions will determine whether, in the future, all time is devoured by Lavos, sending the world into everlasting death. Balthazar foresaw this was going to happen in his world in the year 2300, and he was determined to prevent it from happening no matter what it took. The Chrono Cross. It alone can combine the sounds of the planet that the six types of elements produce. The melody and harmony that brim within all life forms. Use the song of life to heal her enmity and suffering. We entreat you, Surge. Please save Scala. Why is Krona talking? Where even angels lose their way. Ten years ago, you died at this very spot. There's no mistake. You drowned. The truth is, this world, in which you are still alive, is the irregularity. This is the false reality. Ten years ago, it was Lynx who tried to kill you at this beach. After Prometheus broke the link between fate and the flame, fate tried to eliminate any obstacle that stood in its way. In the meantime, the six dragons had sent Harley forth to try and gain possession of the flame. Harley made contact with fate's biological incarnation, Lynx, and tricked him into temporarily joining forces. The elimination of Prometheus's, uh, the Prometheus circuit's lock on the frozen flame was everyone's top priority. This is so much, holy shit. Lynx and Harley abducted Luca, who alone could release the Prometheus lock that guarded the flame. But the whole attempt only ended in failure, so they waited for you to appear instead. 
You see, fate calculated that you would one day cross the dimensions and try to make contact with the flame. I don't know how to break this to you, but Lynx was actually your father, Wazuki. Drawing closer to the flame caused him to become unstable, and the image of you dying in terror changed him completely. Finally, after having his psyche totally eroded, he, his, er, he lost his soul and was easily integrated by fate. Fate turned Wazuki into a biological interface, modeling him after your worst fear at the time, a panther. Although Wazuki managed to escape with Chronopolis with you, he later suc uh, completely succumbed to fate. Humans are such fragile, disjointed, imperfect things. Love and hate, life and death. Perhaps even fate itself dreamed of using the flame to someday reincarnate itself into a new species. It is quite sad, really. It's like when you gaze into the flame, the flame gazes back into you. That was so much, dude. Holy shit. Uh, to the darkness of time. I don't think any of that added to the story is a problem. That, that it just made it more convoluted, more silly. It was not great. All right, this is finally it. Let's finish this off. We've wasted enough blooming time as it is. Come on, Surge, mate. You don't want to keep the girl any wait or waiting any longer. She's been waiting for you and only you for over 10,000 years, I might add. If the world's going to be destroyed, then let it be destroyed. If history is going to be changed, then let it bloody well be changed. I'll show you what radical dreamers really dream about. Hey. You should have added those bits as you play. Just a lot of it really took away the mystique. Now why is Scala a kid? She wasn't a kid then. Uh, where's her purple hair? What the fuck? All right, yellow, red, green. Oh, wait. Oh, what, I can't just use the field effect? Shit. Also, there's no music here? Really? I was about to say, Carnivore into Tornado is not good. Alright. Probably a bad idea. He wants to spam green. I probably should not do green. I have a holy healing somewhere, right? I didn't- oh, he only Surge can have that shit. That's fine. Damn, that's so much healing. Ah, no music for this. Suck shit. Come on, 92 to 85! Why am I being punished like this? Alright, I think I have to wait until... I don't know what I have to do here.
Alright, let me test something, I guess. I got plenty of yellows I can test. Let me test after I get everyone else. Well, that's not great. I think I need to spend some element here. Fargo. I looked it up. The nature of the environment of the darkness beyond time and the time devourer caused her hair to become chemically bleached. Okay? Interest. Uh, is that interest? I don't know. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Theoretically, yellow. We're gonna go ahead and tablet. Red. She was a kid in Chrono Trigger? She wasn't a teenager? Uh, no, my, uh, they, were, they, they were. Janice was a kid. Alright, and then we wait. He's been sucking green off the whole time, and he wants to do yellow now? He's been sucking green off the whole time, and now he wants to do yellow? Whatever, man. I got red. Fuck you. Yellow, red. Green. Blue. Yoink. This is a problem. I think what I do here is black on him. I could get one attack in. It's probably. Oh. I need to hit. I, I need two on surge. So I have to hit twice. Alright, white. Let's hit the couple, I guess. Yellow, red, green, blue, black, white! Now I just need to pray. He can't interrupt Surge. I need to hit one time. And Chrono Cross. To be honest, I did not expect it to go that smoothly. <laughs> Thank you.
See, I was lucky he was sucking off green that whole time, but then he decided to do yellow, which opens the cycle. So I could just go from there. And I was prepped for it. So I got I got a pretty lucky on that one. I have been waiting an eternity just for this very moment. Hands off the controller? No, I have to... okay. Meaninglessly hurting one another, the disappearing life forms. Love to hate, hate to love. Why are we born? Why do we die? Evolution? The survival of the fittest? What is there to be achieved from harming one another, killing one another? The eggs that we call planets, and the innumerable spermatozoa, the life forms which gather around them. When one of those countless seeds is joined with the planet, a new universe is born. All this exists for that one moment, and so that the universe can evolve, or also that the universe can evolve into the next dimension. Does that make all of us pawns? Are each of our short lives nothing but a cheap sacrifice, just so the one chosen life form can be born? No, that is not the case. Each and every one of us has a chance of becoming that one chosen life form. Yes, it could be you. Each of us tries to do our best with the hand we're dealt, but it, it, it be it our genes or the environment we live in. Each life form, struggling to make the best of the life it's given, forms a link in the golden chain that leads to the creation of a new universe. Every single thing in the whole of nature is perhaps just dreaming a dream of life. All of them are also perhaps nothing more than a dream dreamt by a planet before its birth. Dude, what? Oh, but yes, eventually all dreams will return to Zervan. The Sea of Dreams. Don't go yet, Surge. It's alright. Everything is alright now. Time, which has been divided, will be unified again now. The time for farewells has come. You will lose all memory of this whole adventure and return to your own time. But this time, you'll be able to live your own life. Aye, matey! It sure was a swashbuckling voyage. <laughs> if you ever want to become a pirate, be sure to come see me aboard the SS Vin Invincible. What the fuck? We alone do not have the power to heal the world's woes or to solve all of its mysteries. And yet, even then... It was bloody good knowing you, mate. Thanks for being born, you, Surge. I guess now's the time to say see you later, mate, but I'll find you. Sometime, somewhere. I'm bloody sure of it. No matter the time, no matter the world you live in, I'll find you. I'm sure. I'm sure I'll find you. I was desperately trying to not, like, fuck with the mood there. But what the fuck was that word salad? Hey, Surge! Oh, Lena. <laughs> A party member I never recruited. Are you alright? What's the matter? I had a dream. Don't scare me like that. You just passed out all of a sudden. Hmm? What? Terra Tower? Fate? What are you talking about? We just got here. I got millennial writing on the mind. I wanted to like... I desperately want to ruin this shit. I can't do it. You got some Komodo dragon skills for me, don't you remember? You sound confused. Come on, Surge. Get with the program. 
Our summer's only just started. Thus, the curtain closes on another tale. An eternity has passed, fleeting dreams fade into the distance. All that is left now is me and my memories. I don't know who's talking right now, so... But I'm sure we'll meet again. It's probably Kid, right? Someday, you and I. Another place, another time. It's just that we might not realize that you are you and I am me. Let us open the door f to the great unknown, fool. <laughs> Come across another reality and live another today. Even when the story has been told, life goes on. Until we meet again, take care of yourself, my friend. Forever yours, Scala Kid Zeal. Her name was Scala the whole time because she's, she's Scala's daughter, Chloe. <laughs> Brother. Sorry, I'm being... It's a real moment. Where's my fin screen? Turn it down. This song is fucking amazing. And that's Chrono Cross. Not nearly as uh, bad a game as I remember it being. I have... Very vivid memories of not liking the entire Link segment when I played as a kid. You literally just missed the entire end again? Brother, your timing is unbelievable, to be honest. DMCA? It's whatever. I don't make any money from this shit anyway. Alright, my thoughts. My thoughts on this game. I really, really, really don't like it as a sequel to Chrono Trigger. I think it is a fine RPG in its own right. The battle system is wildly unique. The music. It's a little problematic that the worst song in the game is the battle theme, but music's a banger regardless. It's got tons of secrets and a whole bunch of optional shit you can do. And while I wish the side characters were more prevalent along the story itself, it is fun being able to be like, I don't know, have a rock star in your party for the whole game. That's not bad. That's okay. I don't think it's a bad thing that you can recruit all those things. It's just not great because I wish they were more ingrained in the story. But I do think the gameplay holds up, especially amongst JRPGs. The grid system with the elements combined with the stamina system, I think makes for a really unique JRPG experience that you really can't find anywhere else. It's wildly unique. In terms of story, it's a sequel. In gameplay and everything else, it's on its own. Yes. See, but it pulls from such a renowned game. You know, Chrono Trigger is beloved by so many people, including me. Chrono Trigger is one of my favorite all-time games. And for it to, like, 
I, I would say that the story of this game kind of shits on Chrono Trigger a little bit. It takes such a simple premise in Chrono Trigger and obfuscates it in so many different ways and makes it so much more convoluted that it is a detriment as a Chrono game. So not only do you get a failure amongst the story, but while this game's gameplay is unique and wonderful, you also have a failing as a, a gameplay successor to Chrono Trigger. Because something so beloved by Chrono Trigger, its double tech and triple tech system, is fucking railed in this game. Uh, we ran into one double tech that's it. I don't even know if triple techs exist in this game, but we ran into one double tech. That's that's just a shame. All because you didn't know how to get Glenn, right? Even then, Glenn being the only one who has a double tech with the main protagonist of Surge, it's crazy. He's not even a required character. You, you literally can miss him and will miss him on the average playthrough because getting him requires you to be a dick to kid. And who's going to do that? It, it's definitely... This game absolutely has its faults. It gets shit because its expectations stemmed from Chrono Trigger. I, I would agree. If this didn't have the Chrono in the name, also... Y'all thought Lightning did it first? <laughs> Sometime, somewhere. They have to remember. Chrono Cross, the entire concept is that all timelines exist all the time. So, uh, since I literally missed the entire ending, any chance of a brief recap? Escala from Chrono Trigger got absorbed into Lavas with the Mammoth Machine back in 12,000 BC during Zeal's Fall. And in doing so, before she got consumed completely, she cloned herself as Kid and then found the one timeline in which Surge would go find the Chrono Cross. And so Kid's entire purpose was to lead Surge to the Chrono Cross. Surge existing within the only person to exist within two timelines at once, being touched by time itself. Yeah, baby, baby daughter clone. Yeah, true. Uh, so we get the Chrono Cross, we go fight Lavos, or the Time Devourer, Devourer of Time, and free Scala from his bones, which resets the time compression and time dilation and time insemination, and all realities go back to their original timeline. And then the game called Planet's Eggs and the Things Living on It Spermatozoa. It did do that, yes. I don't really want to talk about that, though. <laughs> that was really weird. Now let's start near. No. <laughs> so does that just like erase Chrono Trigger? The entire concept of this is that the stuff that happened in Chrono Trigger did not actually... Well, it happened in its own timeline. But Lavos... pulled from a different timeline which caused a convergence and caused some time fucky wucky. And yeah, basically the stuff that happened in Chrono Trigger did not really matter at all. I mean, it did, but at the end of the day, no. The live action was Kid looking through various dimensions to find Surge, including the real world. I figured as much, that's why I brought up Lightning, because Lightning 
you know what, 13-3, Lightning Returns has been out for like, what, 15 years now? I don't need to worry about spoilers in that game. She ends up in the real world. That's how she was in all those fashion magazines and shit like that. That was their whole spiel about that. Spoilers, bro! If you're gonna play 13, and the 13 trilogy, you would have done it already. Don't act all fucking surprised, I told y'all gonna do it. But yeah, um, I think this is a really good game in its own merit. This is the definition of a bad series game. Like, you hear all those Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, oh, it's a bad Assassin's Creed game, but it is a good game. Yada yada, shit like that. This is the definition for that. This is a great game, I think, in its own right. Even the Link segment, which I remember hating, I loved. I had a really good time playing it. It is fun to play, despite its technical issues. But as a sequel to Chrono Trigger, I think it does a terrible job. Absolutely terrible, terrible job. Following up on the impactful gameplay elements, following up on such a simple story, making it so wildly and needlessly convoluted. I give this game a thumbs up. <laughs> I had a good time. I'm eating gum. Chewing gum. You don't eat gum. I had a good time though, so. But that is Chrono Cross done. Done forever. I'd recommend watching Coming to Terms with Chrono Cross. I, is, I have a feeling that it's not going to say too much different than what I just did. <laughs> accepting it for its own merits and accepting that it's probably just not what you want out of a sequel. So. Do we get some Baba to fill the time? Nerd, it's been two hours. What do you think's about to happen? We could totally finish the year and start year of your request tomorrow, but thematically that sucks. It makes more sense to start the year of your request on Monday now, don't it? I missed a lot, so it hasn't been two hours for me. Come on, son. No, this does deserve it, it doesn't deserve the shit that people give Chrono Cross. This is a good game. It really is. I enjoy the fact that it has sequels. It warrants subsequent playthroughs to get characters you didn't get before. Uh, spoilers, or not spoilers, but the Chrono Cross that you got with this save file can be used to resummon your party in a new playthrough. So you keep all the characters you already got. So you'll just cycle back new playthrough with your per current party, and you can pick up all the ones you missed along the way. So it's even got new game plus potential. I think it was a good game, and I'm glad I played it, and I'm glad I streamed it, and I'm glad you guys watched it, and I'm glad Meshi, quote-unquote, watched it, so. <laughs> Having said that, I'm done. I'm not feeling nothing. Tomorrow we'll finish Nier, and then Monday we will start the year of viewer requests. Remember, at the end of Nier, we're gonna, you know, I'll do the same thing with this, or with Nier that I did with this. I'll give my thoughts. At the end of the thoughts, we will spin the wheel. So. Yeah, Christian, I appreciate you being here to help guide me through this stuff. Because it was a little convoluted at times, so I really appreciate you being here to guide me through certain things. I couldn't get all the characters in one go. That's what I didn't like about it. Yeah, it's impossible. It requires minimum three playthroughs to get all the characters. So. But yeah, tomorrow's near. Tomorrow is spinning the wheel. Hopefully you guys stay tuned in for that. And uh, go... Enjoy the rest of your day, because I'm done. Bye, friends!